This is the profanity song. You can find it at otfi.com slash profanity. Yeah. She has no face. Oh, that is God. absolute bullshit. Like, come on. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Fuck this game. Fuck. <laughs> no. Fuck this. you. God damn it. Fuck this game. Uh. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck this uh-huh. game. Oh, fuck off. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, you guys, I'm a YouTuber man. I jump cut, jump cut, jump cause I can. I don't have to talk in complete sentences. Cause I handle my I'm a YouTube street man, doodly do. Doodly do. Doodly do. Doodly do. I'm a jump cut, jump cut, doodly do. Oh, 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 oh,
I mean, it's weird to to feel old and busted and and look and be like, these guys are the next generation of people who will be on YouTube. Uh, I was I was right across the the, the hall like, from like you like you've been like like ah I remember when I was a 15 year old a vlogger on YouTube. Those were the old rough and tumble days. Well, they've passed me by now. <laughs> I my booth was right across the hall from the King of Randoms booth, and so uh, somebody over there knew how to. Uh, oh, we got these badass cards. These uh, they were like a uh, like 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 baseball cards looking thing to sign. So we were uh, flicking those back and forth and I got to meet Cody from Cody's lab. Um, it was, uh, Oh, and ran into randomly somebody who was connected with wizard Academy. I was talking to him for like five or 10 minutes and then we exchanged phone numbers, uh, uh to keep in touch because he was doing something at another convention. And then he was like, Oh, uh, Texas, huh? Do you happen to know, uh, uh Roy Williams? And I was like, wizard Academy. You're like, yeah. And, and turns out that the guy's like brother uh, co-wrote a book with Roy Williams, and uh, is they're intimately familiar with uh, Wizard Wait, Academy. He just pulled that on Texas. Like, uh, he yeah, did, like, yeah. Like, not even just, Austin. Not even like he saw five one two. It was like, like that was Austin. Houston, Dallas, El Paso, Waco. It's all in in uh, in fair game. And boom, they nailed it. Yeah. Uh, well, and and by the way, that's as good a time as any to remind people that uh, what two two weeks, three weeks from now, I, I get to teach my first class at Wizard Academy. If you want to learn all the secrts of how we did uh, Scam School and the Modern Rogue, we'll be happy to spill them all. You'll have a good time. Uh, yeah. Where can people find that? Um, wizardacademy.org, Dot org, I believe. Here, uh, yeah, Bryce, you take it. I'll, I'll set this up. Yeah, it's uh, wizardacademy.org. It's uh, it's a pretty cool place. You can go on campus, and they've got food, and and they cater all that stuff. Uh, it is a pretty good time. <laughs> you get be you get beer and wine at eight in the morning. It's beautiful. It's it's a magical business academy where everything is right with the world. God damn, what is this, Louisiana? Yeah. Like, here we having um, the old Bon Ton they, roulette. They call it they, uh, they call it purple coffee. In that hour, this is and I, uh, uh, it's great. I'm really excited. I hope that uh, I do a good job. Uh, find out more about them, and uh, it'll be fun. How about you, man? What have you been up to? Ah, uh, uh, I'm getting an MRI tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. What? Yeah, you ever had an MRI? No, no, but man, I'm fascinated by how terrifyingly powerful those magnets are. Uh, so, like, I don't know. My doctor, you, who, who suggested this MRI to me. Like they really like read me the riot act when it came to like, like trying to scare me about it. Wait, for, for real? So, uh, about uh, the health aspect of it or what? No, they're just like, first she's like, all right, well, here's what I'm going to suggest. Yada, yada, yada. This is my fucked up back. She's like, hey, I think I'm going to give you an MRI tomorrow. It's the best thing. And then like past that, as soon as we see what I think we're going to see, we're going to do these next steps. And I'm like, cool. She's like, uh, breezes by it. Cool. Yeah. Breeze by it. Then she's like, kind of like looks back as if like I didn't take bait that she just laid. And she's like, have you ever had an MRI? Because <laughs> I'm like you. I would think the same thing. I'd be all like, yeah, what's the deal? You lay down. And it, uh, you know, I was there for an ultrasound. How hard can it be? She's like, hey, are you claustrophobic? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, no, I don't. I don't think so. She's like, well, just so you know, an MRI you're going to be in this tube. It's going to be really up close to your face. It's going to be really loud. And I'm like, are you trying to scare me off this woman? Like, like you just recommended I mean, that I, mean, I like, do like, it. And now you're like dying to like, like scare me about it. You, you get, you, you get uh, do you get earplugs you, or they're like, no, we need your virgin ears to experience this maximum pain. I no no. She said that I would get ear earbuds. I was just very surprised at the stir. Like it was as if she were like the owner of the of the general store uh, at the bottom of the hill that has you know the haunted house up top. Like like well you know you do have to go visit your aunt's old estate, but are you sure you want to? Have you ever been to Bloodspill Lane? You know you have to stay the night to get the inheritance. It's not. <laughs> Uh, so, so what's it, what is there to be afraid of? Do, do people find it highly unpleasant? I don't know. I mean, like, I guess if you're claustrophobic, apparently it's a real, it's a real scary time because you got to be in there for like 20 or 30 minutes. And, uh, like that's apparently a problem. Oh, <laughs> Bonnie's not a fan. Uh, Uga Yoink says they gave the, uh, he or she a, a pair of headphones, 
But I don't see how that's possible, given how powerful those magnets are. Like that, um, when I was in high school, the MRIs were pretty new, and they had all these awesome, brand new crop of urban legends. This is before they were being spread on the internet. So I'm sure at some conference where all these MRI docs are all getting drunk and and having sex they, in their pillow talk, they say, "What disasters have you seen with your MRI?" And they yeah. they talk, like their stories about. Uh, I nurses. saw a man who just became two testicles. <laughs> no, it was like like there was one nurse that walked in uh, and. From across the room, she forgot she had an underwired bra and actually felt it pulling from across the room. There was a dude who, uh, a doctor walked in. He had a, a pen in his pocket that he forgot about. Just ripped right through the pocket, launched, embedded itself into the guy's leg. And then, uh, yeah. And apparently, one of the early MRIs was getting so dirty, uh, like they couldn't understand why uh, uh, there was this this gray haze across the top. And it turned out that there was just enough metallic content in the eyeliner of women that it was pulling that stuff off and painting the side of the MRI with it. Oh my God! Nope, nope, nope. Dude, snopes, look that! Snopes, uh, snopes, oh, snopes, we got snopes, we got video, snopes. right? Didn't we just see that? Yeah, someone sent along a video of like a nightmare scenario with uh, with an MRI and, and using metal in it. Yeah, so there's like a tank too close, and it's it shoots kind of in and out. Yeah. Doofa doofa. Uh, is there is there, I'm sure there's got to be that would be bad for audio. Never mind. Uh, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Man, if that's a rich vein, MRI fails. <laughs> so here's a funny idea. Uh, I always, oh, I always had this terrifying. Uh, oh, I, I, man, I can't say. It. Uh, hey, you know what you should do is sneak a, a paper clip under your tongue so you can escape. So you can when it just fucking stabs. die when it stabs you through the brain. Uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's tomorrow at seven thirty in the morning, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I just didn't know that it was like uh, uh, it was like a thing, like that it was like people were scared of it, and it was like this terrifying element of medical science. Well, so what so about, it, what it, about like like dental stuff? Like you have those that wire in there with that? No, drug? not anymore. I got it out, but but that that's the kind of thing they would ask. That, mm-hmm. That's why they make you get an X-ray before they let you in to mm-hmm. see whether you remember. Because I'm sure if they had everyone fill out their own surveys and figured out real fast that was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, they actually did. They asked me if I had any metal in my body, and I told them that the only metal I have was uh, I did have a I have like a a, a dental implant uh, like anchor that like. A, a ceramic tooth is uh, is threaded onto, and so she had to check and double check about it, and found out that it was okay for me to do it. Wow! Wait a minute. So anyway, if my if my That's... face gets ripped off tomorrow morning at seven thirty, then uh, then don't worry, it'll be on the gram. You know what's okay? Uh, while you were talking, Bonnie is stage whispering like that's a story. I want to hear Directly into the microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so that I can make sure to hear it. <laughs> is is there any good story about the the implant thing? Oh no, I was born without that tooth. Like, oh, like the baby tooth came out, and there was nothing, uh, nothing to follow it up. Hold on, so I've got to... that. Only I still have the baby tooth. In fact, it's the first. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the first cavity I got in second grade. They're all like, ha. Funny story, kiddo. Uh, <laughs> this is the one cavity that's going to be with you forever because you don't have an adult tooth coming up underneath. And uh, and they're like, it'll fall out some point in time in, you know, your 20s. And then in the 30s came. And then <laughs> the 40s. And then uh, and I'm like, uh, so is this, uh, is this a good thing? And then in that very helpful way that Dennis can say, they're like, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, if it hurts, let us know, I guess. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, listen, I mean, if you're if you're really eager to drop a couple thousand dollars on a new fake tooth, then uh, we're eager to take it. But otherwise, ski daddle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys are like Peter Pan. You still got baby teeth. <laughs> yeah, wait, that wait. classic facet of the Peter <laughs> Pan tale. <laughs> and, and lo, Wendy looked out over all their beautiful baby teeth. They were clearly no, not men they, teeth. They, they mention it in the real story. They mention it like three or four times. That he like, still is. That he has baby teeth? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Man, that awkward okay. moment when Oops. you try to make a joke and it turns we out to be man, how we just the book is written. We just Peter Pan to Bonnie <laughs> yeah, and yeah, not Bonnie's even like, right. Yeah, assholes. I actually read the book. <laughs> yeah. like, and yes, that's here. what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking J.M. Barry getting the last laugh. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, um, yeah. it. hey wait a minute, sense. that's too dated a reference. What are you doing? <laughs> I thought you had the spirit of current events. Oh wait, there we go. I wanted to make sure that J.M. Barry actually wrote me a computer pen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welcome to This Week in Being Right, the fun, fun <laughs> podcast where we fact check everything. This podcast won't last very long. <laughs> I mean, you know the fucking chat room. Like, if I if I didn't get it, he's like, ah, actually, it was Emily Dickinson. Sorry, Dick. Like, J.M. Barry wrote The Zone. Yeah. Stick to Netflix earnings reports. Boo. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, you want to take a moment and thank the people who make Night Attack possible? Oh, my God, Brian. Uh, listen, here's the deal. Uh, for centuries, we've believed that there are those out there that make sure that Night Attack continues happening. What do we call these people? Some, in the ancient Sumerian language, called them Jesus Knights. <laughs> uh, others call them just really swell dudes and ladies. We call them patrons who go to patreon.com slash night attack. Oh, my God. Gobble Wobble just re resub. By the way, everybody, remember, if you want to support, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can throw us, like, a, 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 a like what, a buck a month for free by doing that. But if you and back us... you have us, to hit the button. You have to hit the subscribe every month. You do so have to hit it every month? Yeah, it's not an auto thing. Like, so you're better off You're better off just giving us real money. Yeah, just make it for, make it for real. You know, uh, the exchange rate of thing. Amazon bucks at the uh, at the shanty town. Yeah? It's not great these days. No, it's not. I want to know, Brian. Hmm. Do you give yourself a dollar? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> do you subscribe to any of your okay, podcasts? Okay, so for the record, by the way, what, what's happening is that we put up, we're putting up all the, the normal kind of Twitch alerts that normally come in. So anybody that subs during our little uh, shill session here can see whatever the gifts are. But apparently the gift this week is just me getting my back tweezed. <laughs> it's supposed to be random, but it always picks this one. So. <laughs> oh, well, <funny. laughs> hey, that sounds like a bit. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so patreon.com slash night attack, uh, uh, the <laughs> oldest and uh, most rad way to uh, support us. Go ahead and check us out. Patreon.com slash night attack. Hey, Bryce, what do they get? Well, they get the after show and the pre show as MP3s on the RSS uh, days before it goes live on weekend. You millennials, the MP3s on your RSS is that's FLY, man. Yeah, let me the tell millennials you. really want really simple syndication. <laughs> that's what they want. They want good XML <laughs> authoring. But most importantly, if you guys uh, support us on Patreon, then you have a chance to, if you up your pledge or pledge a new pledge this week, you can participate in. The Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of it. Dude, I, I cannot pick a better name, especially knowing what the second act game is going to be. Do you know? Tell me this has to be a fake name because this dude sounds too manly and badass. His name is Thord. Well, Thord sets ass. Wait, oh. what? <laughs> Did you start to do the a little bit? Thor. Th Thord sets ass. Thord sets ass. It might be Thord sets ass. It might be. It might be Swedish. Thord sets ass. <laughs> There's two A's. Thor ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, they're mispronouncing it. Thor, I misread. I thought there was two S's at the end. Thor sucks. What is ah. it? I'll, I'll bet, I'll bet Thor is accepting Thor an apology over the air from a podcast host Thor right now. Thor <laughs> I'm so sorry, Thor. Set ass. Thor. Hut, hut. Set sauce! <laughs> Thorn, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's set sauce. Um, set sauce! Come on! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Two snaps and a and set sauce! Yeah! Thorn, what you doing out of here again? You got football set practice. Set <laughs> we, we got that big battle up against Main Creek High School. So Thorn, you got to practice your ball, your ball throwing harder. Pop, pop. Set ass on the case. Set ass, you're a loose cannon. Oh, <laughs> we used to believe in you, but now you're experiencing your darkest moment. You better look inside yourself and figure out if this is all working out. I only got two rules. Praise, Praise be to Jesus <laughs> and set <that. laughs> Oh, the ghost of the Thor and Sessas is showing up. That's amazing. 
Uh, tis I, Lord Setsats! Lord Thorn Setsats! Lord Setsats! But okay. Yeah. Upon my first decree, I allow all to set ass. Therefore, we break the monopoly. Lord Thorn Setsas has finally made his decree. Oh, how good of you to speak the truth to power, Lord Setsas. The monopoly has dominated the industry for far too long. Now, all ass should be free to be set by anyone and anything. We are Sets Ass. <laughs> oh, what an epic battle scene. What a wonderful vignette. The good guys have won. Yeah. Sets Ass Ho. Patreon.com slash night attack. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, and and uh, uh, Fobazad, everybody else that uh, that that uh, that 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 subbed, ah, uh, thank you as well. Oh, so what what are we up to this week, Bryce? So we've got a game. This is sent in from. Let me let me get the name right here. Uh, from Chris Farrell. He sent along a game to mail at nightattack.tv. If you got a game or an idea for something, send it in. M a i l at nightattack.tv is the email address for it. And, um, well, I'm not going to sugarcoat it with you guys. Um, mm. What he sent along is uh, a quiz that I have titled, My Little Porny. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> 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 no. So, uh, it's a very simple, it's a very simple either or. We're going to go take turns. Oh, God damn it. And all you got to do is tell me, is the name... A My Little Pony character, oh. or is it a porn oh, star? God. Uh, 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 <laughs> Eli Expert. Good golly, Fapplejack. What kind of fuckeries happened here? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll start off. We've got, uh, let me get the scoreboard up on the screen really quick. There we go. We got Brittany. This is a much better bit than the, uh, uh, the, the brony shaming exercise that it sounded like when oh, you first said it. No. Yeah, no, this is not this is not a shaming thing at all. This is just the. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to play. Uh, we're gonna just go through. Yeah, Brian, we'll start with you. Uh oh, real quick. Ready, Sweetie Belle. Is that My Little Pony <laughs> or a porn star? <laughs> Sweetie Belle. It's too it's too good. This seems like the one you would lead off with because it's too I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's an adult star. You're gonna say Sweetie Belle is an adult star. See the problem is I, I, this is why I'll probably lose is because I've seen more my little pony than Justin. No, I don't think you have. <laughs> you had to watch for FSL tonight. I did? Why? Oh well uh didn't you guys cover the uh Philly the, the Ponyville Phillies? Oh my God! Yes, Brian. <laughs> oh Jesus! All those episodes that I watched. You know the most fucked up thing about My Little Pony is they don't post any recaps of their episodes on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. So you're uh, you said Sweetie Belle is a porn star? Yeah. Brian, Sweetie Belle is. Oh wait, no, it's not. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, what? What? It's a little. It's a pony. That's right. Uh, we've got. Hold on. We've got photos here. Uh, no, this is the Sweetie it's PewDiePie. Bell. PewDiePie. He's the uh, YouTuber. We got Sweetie Bell. It's fine. Oh, oh even see look at that! Oh, you're gonna include all those little baby ponies? Well, yeah, maybe a little bit. All right, Justin. Misty Dawn. Yeah, uh, yeah. For the record, we should point out that somewhere out there. All of these are porn stars. I did somewhere some, I on did, the no no, uh, no no no. I mean, including the My Little Pony characters. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm going to say that uh, uh, with my right hand to God, Misty Dawn is a porn star. Justin, Misty Dawn. That's is porn, a yeah. Star. There All you right. go. Good point. One. Good practice round. Now we'll start for real. I reals. actually think she might have been in the uh, uh, the Max Landis death and return of Superman. Yes. Yeah. I do remember 
Or that death, they returned him Superman. That's the funny thing, because Brian has to do this while his wife is literally staring at him. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you can call. And he just got back from a conference. <laughs> what were you saying about conferences? Oh, earlier? geez. Uh, <laughs> number three, Brian Rushwood. <laughs> Power through. Power through, Brian. <laughs> got, 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 got it. <laughs> Sunny days. Wait, to me? Yes. People are asking me to show the porn stars. I'm not going to show you the porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a picture. There's a he got, picture. <laughs> he goes, he's like, he's like, oh, it's so weird. Every time I go to click on the porn star, the, the link is purple. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sunny days. So that kind of pun name, I don't know that they would do on My Little Pony. That, see, again, I'm leaning on as if I have any expertise in My Little Pony. Uh, I, I'll, you, you know what? I, I'll say it is My Little Pony. Brian Sunny Days is... Yes! Oh, good, 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 good. My Little Pony, you get a point. Justin Robert Young. Wait, let me see Sunny Days. This oh. is <laughs> like, part of his bit. He's showing the end results. Days. All right, Sunny there days. we go. Look at Sunny Days. A little tiny one. So cute. All right, Justin. Yeah. Blue Bobbin. <laughs> Blue Bobbin. <laughs> Blue Bobbin. <laughs> I'm going to say that Blue Bobbin. <laughs> Here's the fucked up part. Is that like you can't say the phrase like, I mean, that'd be too on the nose. Like they're porn stars. Right. There is no such thing. In fact, on the nose is usually where most of those stories end. <laughs> blue, blue bobbin. bobbin. Blue bobbin. Blue bobbin. I'm gonna say the blue bobbin's a pony. Bonnie, what do you? Well, before we find out, what do you, what do you think, Bonnie? Blue I bobbin. think I don't know the show as well as I ought to since it's <laughs> on like all the time. Um, I think it's a porn star. I, uh, I, I, I think it is an actual pony. Uh, well, uh, Justin, you uh, remind me, you said uh. I said pony. I said pony. Blue Bobbin is my little pony. Oh. Aha! My little pony. Good point. Yeah, All right, so we both got two now, right? Uh, you got uh, two. You Brian's got... only got one. Yeah, but also. Oh, we're Brian, not oh yeah, Brian at... just got sunny days. Got you. Show okay. me that blue bobbin. Well, oh yeah, we got to show you blue bobbin. Here's blue bobbin. Also, that's exactly what I figured. I figured there was some kind of bum, uh, like a bobbin. Oh, yeah. That's and right. Y'all have nasty thoughts. Now I know. No, but have y'all seen the new episodes where they like they? They turn no, I in... missed them. They... <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, like the ponies turn into high school girls, but they're all still kind of effed up looking and stuff. They're like, they're not like people. Like, <laughs> they have like... deformed little fans. They look... Sort of. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, God ah, cursed is us. Why? <laughs> why has God fucking sparted on us? <laughs> we are the refuse of society. <laughs> and like, there's fur on my face. <laughs> what is wrong? Did you hear that Craig liked Applejack? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's totally one of the episodes. Do they even explain why they're just suddenly high school? There girls? was like some kind of like swirling thing. The, 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 the evil wizard Marketo shows up. Wow. He goes, Wah, the demographic spell of make you more approachable to sell more toys to an older demographic will be fired upon you. I now exactly. cast my most powerful spell. Put tits on that horse. <laughs> 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 All right, number five. <laughs> and behold, money shall spring forth. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Finally, dark magic reaches its pinnacle. Brian, Brian. number five. <laughs> yes. Ripple. <sighs> Ripple. I feel like if Ripple, what? Because there aren't. Uh, are Ripple. there, a, Justin? Do you think there are a lot of one-word porn names, or probably? I would assume probably more than uh, more than more than more than, than usual. We, yeah, because I was thinking the reverse. Because I was thinking about as many as there are like uh, uh, one names in soccer. Is there a lot of one names in soccer? <laughs> oh yeah, like yeah. Pele, Pele. And yeah. Maradona, and Ronaldo, and Carlos. And and what's her name again? 
Ripple. It's ripple. just that ripple down her back is like, you know, just a little long. So you just say, ripple. Remind me of how that move goes <laughs> when you ripple down one's back. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my bluff. <laughs> <laughs> she she lays down an empty hand. <laughs> She's like, I got right, nothing. I got I'm sorry. Not I, got, I got nothing. I, I'm going to say, like, I can picture three, uh, you know, it's like, a, oh, Ripple, Bobbin, and Tree Fluff. You. <laughs> um, huh? I'm going to say it's a pony. If, if, if it was a porn star, why do you think? It would be uh, their their name would be Ripple. <laughs> oh man, I guess uh, is that like like does when you slap an ass does it ripple? Is that a thing? My jiggle. I mean, if it's big enough, yeah, jiggle is the word I'm thinking of. But, but of can you use ripple like that? Rip- I mean, yeah, rip ripple. I mean, ripple's more brandable, right? That that's got to be better SEO. <laughs> well, especially because you're up against what the the cheap cheap wine is ripple, uh, like a malt liquor or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, exactly. Well, listen, it's if the you're hobo that demo, horse. <laughs> ripple and enjoy some ripple. Uh, a small right. on the surface of water, especially as caused. Oh, maybe she's maybe she's uh, queen of the water sports or something. Behold my <laughs> ripple. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's just in the piss. <laughs> it sounds like she's got a fucking wave machine. <laughs> she only does it on waterbeds. That's her. That's her gimmick. Yeah. She goes. She goes. Uh, no, my name is Ripple, and we will fuck on a waterbed and nowhere else. All right, you said Ripple is a pony. Brian Rushwood, Ripple is. Is a pony. Good job. Uh, let me show you. Ripple is a is a classic pony, one of the older cartoons. Kind of oh, pony. oh, not even from the current oh, generation. Oh, right, some Loch Ness oh, monster looking God. shit. Yeah, Ripple. That. Old Ripple. news, that one. All right, Justin, number six. Here we go. Forget me not. Is that that's, that's like a that's like doubling down on desperation if that's a porn star name. <laughs> like, like I want you to watch me fuck and please remember no, this. Oh, all right, where are we drawing the line on porn star? Because there's like a hundred percent chance that there is a cam girl right now called Forget Me Not. Uh, uh, I cross checked this list with Pornhub.com and porn. <laughs> Star Network. Patreon.com slash Night Attack. Your dollars going hard to work on the quality production you've come to expect every Tuesday night. I'll tell you what. There were two There were two that I ended up having to throw out because they were definitely not uh, exclusives here. Uh, oh, they weren't born of exclusives. <laughs> forget uh, me. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to say that, uh, uh, God damn it. I'm going to say forget me not is a pony. <laughs> That guy can't be a porn star. I swear to I mean, like, unless he's just doing or he is just doing like, <laughs> uh forget me not is Friendship is not Nailed it. Is another classic. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say that when it's my little pony. <laughs> oh, no, that one looks like it did do porn. Like it's that a- shit is uh, that that is a uh, a very hazy gaze. Yeah. <laughs> Are you you saying that this this pony showed up high to the set and <laughs> just, just to make it through this miserable? Uh, uh, just tilt that pony uh, about ninety degrees and put it behind somebody, and it would not look out of place. <laughs> Was that us that talked about the ponies having tramp stamps or the? Uh... Oh yeah, they're I mean, cutie they marks. They're, 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 cutie, they're, marks they're cutie marks or tramp stamps. Cutie we can't marks? be the first ones to. Mm. A load of more BS. like cutie well, marks. Glaze, am I right? A what? porn no. star name or a pony? Wait, say it again. Hazy gaze. Is hazy glaze. Brian. Yeah. Honeysuckle. <laughs> that's that's a pony. That's a pony. That's a pony? Yeah. That's my new show <laughs> where I just stand there at that point and I go, that's, that's a, a pony. pony. <laughs> Coming this fall to HGTV. He thinks everything. It's newest experience. <laughs> oh, ever since I got kicked in the head, everything looks like a pony to me. I don't understand. That's a pony. No, that's your wife. <laughs> oh. It's a drama, actually. 
It's about the heartfelt recovery. It's regarding Henry. That's a to the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> A heartbreaking tale of one man's <laughs> trauma and his road to recovery. And then, like, the big finale is he takes the kids to the zoo, and then the, the baby goes, that's a pony, Daddy. And you say, no, sweetheart, that's a horse. <laughs> and then, like, he knows the difference. <laughs> oh, all right, Brian. He starts clomping around, zoom in on the pony. It, it rears up on two legs and winks at the camera. <laughs> All right, Brian. Honeysuckle is... My little pony. Is My Little Pony. Another classic one. I tried to make sure that the ones that we had in here were on a TV show or visual medium. Ah, uh, so, good. But, uh, yeah, Honeysuckle. Uh, uh, fun fact, one of the ones I had to cut was Honeysuckle. Ew. Why would you want to get sick? <laughs> Honey disease disease. <laughs> 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 Honey okay, disease. It's a three. It's a three name. <laughs> name. Uh, if you get to see just his face, you guys have to have to log in and see his uh, the actual visual. Yeah, I log into Pornhub listen. to watch the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Can upload this to Pornhub just so we. <laughs> Just upload can... this bit to Pornhub because, I mean, if there's somebody who just busts a nut who really just wants some laughs. They want to stay in sight, get some refractory time in, and then go right back to Jacket. Just play this game with us. We're fine if you have your dick out. It's okay. We're on Pornhub. Uh, okay. I, I, did, did anybody happen to be browsing on the internet around the time that uh, – what's, what's that Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie that, about the dude who loves jerking off? Uh, Ron, oh, Don John, Don John, Don, Don, John, Don, Don John, right? Don Juan. Yeah, uh, yeah, which is very weird because uh, I would imagine it would be weird to click on a link, and then and then and then an ad for a major motion picture begins where it's just Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Jack, and <laughs> going, "I love jerking off," and then just random porn thrown in with it is like, and this is a movie about my misadventures with jerking out, jerking like, out, yeah. Uh, jerking out. Uh, that that was a real thing, I'm right? I, I'm jerking out, <laughs> Mama. If that's called jerking on, I'm jerking out. <laughs> jerking out. Uh, <laughs> pull it out, both. <laughs> it tips and bouncing up and down while you blow. <laughs> now it's time for me. I got come and go. <laughs> <laughs> Here I've got a put jerking off. Well, if that's gonna jerking off. <laughs> All right, number uh, number eight. I've Justin. gotta put it in your crack 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 crack. <laughs> you ought to know by now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jerking out. Jerking out. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised. I'm I'm surprised you guys uh, didn't do Joe Jackson. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Jerking out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> number eight, Justin. Yeah. Celeste Star. Are we just gonna do masturbation, Billy Joel references? <laughs> <laughs> Jerking it red. <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's that's a fetish video. Is jerking it red? <laughs> All <laughs> other search bar leads tonight. <laughs> jerking off reds. It's like oh, it's like a gangbang interracial thing. Jerking yeah. off reds. Jerking off whites. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, what was the question? Uh, 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 yeah. All right, number eight. Just you didn't for you. start the fire crotch. <laughs> she was always begging since I've been a dick's been hanging. <laughs> Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> Number eight. Celeste Star. Anytime on the clock, <laughs> jerking on my flaccid cock. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Celeste, Celeste Star. Star. Porn. It was very fast. 
<laughs> because. Uh, uh, Star is porn. Good, good job. All right, Brian, mm. number nine, mm. Savannah. Wait a minute. No, you got to show the point. No. You can't show the one side and then not show the other. <laughs> the point of the visual joke. Dude, no. you, you, like, you don't got to show them fucking, but there's got to be a picture of their face on the internet. I don't have that data in front of me. <laughs> oh, I, I, you, you didn't have the budget, did you? <laughs> if you just had a little bit more research money at patreon.com slash night attack. Skeet, skeets from an Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the, the stranger, you don't have to change the name of that song. <laughs> right. Yes. Savannah. I think I've heard of this one. I think this is definitely a porn star. I was jacking in the night, jacking in the night. Get <laughs> asleep, get asleep. Brian Savannah is a porn oh. star. You got it. I haven't come there in the longest time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for the longest, for the longest time. <laughs> it's still just jerking off to me. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about the porn I'm seeing? It you see that it's out of style. <laughs> Take back to some synth music and a hairy bush for a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you heard about the new sensation, honey? Uh, uh, something coming the bleached on? assholes that cost a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> um, big tits, facial hits, uh, cracks and whips is still... <laughs> Fucking to me, I don't know. <laughs> Still vintage porn to me. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Uh, who's up? Uh, Justin. Yeah. Cherry, Cherry Lee. Cherry Lee is a porn star. <laughs> Justin, Cherry Lee is... Our friendship's magic. Oh! Wow! Yes, See, because otherwise they just all look like fucking My Little Ponies, Bryce. Gotta... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, Brian. All right, all right. Cherry Jubilee. Uh, that, you know what? I'm going to think uh, that, that he just got Mandala affected. Uh, uh, Mandala? Mandala. Mandala. <laughs> Mandala. He's, he's, he's a, a Mandala. Map. He's a map in the mountains. Um, uh, I'm going to say that that is a porn star. Cherry Jubilee? Yeah. Brian, Cherry Jubilee is... We'll make it special every time. We'll make it special every time. <laughs> oh, Justin has Justin. the perfect pole house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost. All right. Justin. Cherry Blossom. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, at some point, one of these bitches fucked. I'm just saying, one of them eventually. <sighs> Cherry Blossom is also a pony. I, I think that we're dealing with a cadre of ponies. Justin Cherry Blossom is also. She is an. Town girl! <laughs> She's getting fucked while I'm watching her twirl on another random guy's dick. <laughs> uh, back, something about a backseat guy. Do you, have to, back door? Uh, do you have to change much for big And now shot? I'm finding I'm a backdoor man. Because <laughs> you want to shoot a big shot, don't you? Ask her to open up her mouth. <laughs> You got your balls on the forehead. It's time to go down south. You want to shoot a big shot back door. Open up them legs. Give it to a real hard. Fertilize them eggs. 
Ride or fertilize? Turns out I've pre-written all of this. I, like at some point, a notebook comes up. <laughs> Here's my manuscript. <laughs> you may be right. That is my gravy. And I shot it on the, my shoe because I didn't see. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. I was aiming for my shoe, but then I hit the floor. <laughs> you may be right. <laughs> Turn out the lights. I'm trying to have some privacy. <laughs> uh, um, Only the good come young. <laughs> All right, All right, Brian. I'll move along. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Cherry Mirage. Oh, that's... Uh, if if that is My Little Pony, I'm done uh, with My Little Pony. I know. Right. <laughs> like, that's got to be a porn star. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Brian. Yes. This, these have all got to be born. These all got to be ponies. I'm sure they all showed up in the same episode where the cherries came to town, and they're like, "I'm Cherry, and I'm Cherry Mirage, and I'm Cherry, I'm, I'm, I'm Cherry, I'm Cherry Tech Support. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm Cherry Spread Eagle. <laughs> I'm Cherry Puppet Master. Jared, 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 Puppet Master. Jared, Jared, Puppet Master. Is that the bad guy from Labyrinth? Jared the Puppet Master? Who is this? <laughs> There's one dude who misread the casting call. He's like, I don't know why I'm here. I'm, I'm supposed Jared to be in the other puppet thing. Master. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the right place. I'm an place. evil villain. I'm supposed to be killing Spider Man, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Only the good shoot long. Da -da -da -da. Are you going to stick with Porn Star for Cherry Mirage? Yeah. Brian, Cherry Mirage is. Yeah! yeah! Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oof, tie game, tie game. That's right. This is a great game. Dude, it's a very you're just game. tearing it up. You're tearing it up, Bryce. All right, we, uh, this Where is from is Chris, so, so send your love to Chris. All right, we're going to have three more, and then we get got a tiebreaker if we need it. Crystal Knight. This is Justin. Crystal Knight. Porn star. <laughs> that takes the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, Crystal Knight is... This is like that uh, that Saturday Night Live sketch with the tales of ribaldry, <laughs> when when there, it's all getting salacious and John Lovitz is getting more and more excited, and then finally Tom Hanks is like, "Hey, let's just have three way sex," and then this is like <laughs> he's so disappointed. He's like, oh. "I like that everyone in the chat just says porn. That's porn. That's porn." Uh, all right, uh, good good job on you, Justin Brian Brushwood. Yeah. Wait, did I? Oh, I, I no, thought no, we were tied good. up. Oh, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Brian Brushwood. Mm. April Flowers. Oh, goddamn. April Flowers. It, 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 it's, uh, it's not punny. You know why I think it's a poor name? Is because it doesn't end in an E sound. It's. Mm. And like Applejack, well, Shutterfly. <laughs> well, well, fly, fly, fly yeah, fly, fly ends with a a smiling sound. Okay. Fly. The the notorious flowers frowns. Flowers. Flower. 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 April flowers. Report to the weird fucking pony high school principal offer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go with porn. I'm gonna go with porn. All right, Brian. April Flowers is coming. Oh, <laughs> you got it. Oh yeah. Okay, you, good. Yeah, got <laughs> We're playing Genuine's Pony. There's the sound effects are a little varied today. <laughs> All right, Justin, you need this to to win the game. Yeah, cause I cause I've missed one more than you. Heartthrob. Are all these lady porn stars, Bryce, or are there guy porn stars in here? They're all ladies. Oh, that changes things. If it's only ladies, then it's a pony. Is that your answer? Is that your final answer? Yeah, it's my final answer, pony. That's a pony. Heartthrob's a pony. Although it doesn't end with E. That Brian had a very compelling argument that it, it didn't end with E. 
Heart right. throb, though. But but but, but bo- bobbin, uh, th- blue bobbin, blue bobbin wasn't. But uh, but also something about a heart. Who's jerking off to heart throb? Who's like, oh, man, I fucking saw this great shit with heart throb last night. Oh my god. I mean, who who is who is water cooler talking about jerking <laughs> off at the office guy? <laughs> Wait, you never met that guy? That guy exists. That guy is out there. Oh, wow. I mean, it's it's so weird. He just hangs out at the water cooler. No, maybe, maybe I just look like a dirt bag, but like that I have met that guy. <laughs> oh my god. These people so talk sorry. to me specifically in the restaurant industry. Like that that dude oh. exists. He is a waiter right now. And Florida. when you're doing side work with him, he's like yeah, yeah, some fucking heartthrob is taking it eat and, and like like man, it was fucking hot. It always ends with that was fucking hot. <laughs> She's always a pony to me. <laughs> you can come on her face, you can come on her tits. You can come on her shoulder, you can come on her wrist. <laughs> You'll stand direct before her, she'll get on her knees. <laughs> You'll cry as you jerk off. She's always a pony to me. <laughs> what? I, I, no like, I like the creative decision to go with wrists and not clit. Or <laughs> well, I know. Here's one thing. Was like if really disturbing. <laughs> if there's one, if there's one reason. thing I know, is that when you have a rhyme, you don't second guess it. You just no. figure out how to get there. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's like I'm on the tits. I gotta get to her wrist somehow. <laughs> Let's go by way of shoulder. (laughs) Christ almighty. I'm sorry, anybody listening. The show is not usually like this. (laughs) Yeah, it's normally safe for work. I got a new squirt state of mind. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Justin, you said heartthrob is a pony. Yeah. And heartthrob is... My little pony. That means from a score of seven to six, <sighs> Justin Robert Young, Wait, you. How bummed are we that it was his six to nine? I don't know this one. Uh, I see her throb up on that big screen. It's right here. It's a class. It's another oh, older pony. Oh, it's one of the classics. You see, I didn't factor in the eighties. Now, um. That's how they get you. How about Spike, Justin? What Whoa. was that? Wait, what? Spike. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest that the mere fact that you're the one asking the question <laughs> oh, I ruined so, it. sort of gives a bit of a hint. Uh, a pony. <laughs> it's a pony. <laughs> well, it's not a pony, pony. but uh, it's not a oh. porn either. What is it? Wait, it's neither. It's, it's a nail. Wait, I was no... talking about. It's a, a dragon. It's their little dragon. Oh. Kickabout friend. <laughs> Kick <him. laughs> Wait, there's got to be a porn star named Spike also. I know. There probably is. This, this game is not vetted. <laughs> there's, there's a terrible time out, time process out, here. What, what does it say about how body views types of friendships? <laughs> <laughs> that there's an existing category called kickabout. <laughs> oh, I am the kickabout friend. So, like me and Spike, we got something in common here. <laughs> All right, You're well. like, hey, man, we don't have to be full on friends. It could just be your kickabout, you know? Show up. And you say, come on, man, get out of here. Yay, hey, we're buddies. Uh, wait, wait, where is Spike a dragon, Bonnie? Where is he a dragon? He's, he's yeah, on the production line. He's like, like the main character's. Like servant friend, <laughs> servant friend. He's yeah. one of the main characters, <laughs> yeah. apparently. He's like a, an assistant. Like he does. Like he's like, oh sure, whatever you say. And he runs around and he like gets her laundry for. Her oh, and... he's like in the show. I did, I thought you were just uh, calling like another like property where Spike was a dragon or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> She party. breaks the game entirely. She's like, what about Spider-Man? Is that a porn star or a character? <laughs> what about JFK? Which one is that? Well, actually, he was no, a porn star. We all know the answer to that. Oh, well, good game. Congratulations, Justin. Very oh. close game. Thank uh, you again. Who, who did that again? Who, that was, who, was the, uh, who was the creator there? That was Chris Farrell, uh, who sent it in. Mail at nightattack.tv if you've got something. Or join the Discord. I talked about this a little bit today. Uh, in terms of getting this game set up. Uh, so if you want to join the Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. Heck I'll yes. I'll tell you what, uh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll put a reward behind it. If you write a game that Bryce thinks is good enough to use on the show, uh, he'll forward you 
the email and I'll get you a sticker pack uh, if it gets done on the show. So so a little more incentive to go go ahead and do it. You'll get some night attack stickers. Yeah, dude. awesome, awesome. Uh, hey man, shall we take a moment and visit on the movie draft minute? Uh, what or we could do, do diamond, diamond time, time first. first. So we got, we're fine with whatever. <laughs> I'm, ready for that. I'm, I'm so current. I'm about the missed link. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> Oh, that one came out a little too early, like an episode of Game of Thrones. Oh, no, no. Did it just did, it just did that happen today? Did something leak? Uh, they're they're leaking stuff all the time because they want like three million dollars from HBO. Oh, yeah, they're saying they got personal cell phones for actors and stuff. So, huh. all right, uh, Diamond Time is where you can shout out your projects right here on the show. Just head on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. The big sticky post up at the top is where you shout out what you want. Let's go ahead and begin with JF Dubo, who writes, you did it. You beautiful motherfuckers. You did it. Y'all managed to get my book nominated for a Dragon Award. Jesus, Herbert Christ, I could kiss you all. All right. Step two, the voting. I need you to do me a favor, Diamond Club. I need you to head on over to bit.ly slash dragonshed2017. That is dragonshed2017. Uh, you know what? Let's go with dragon's head. But it doesn't have an A. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let's 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 go to the and say, fuck you, that URL. <laughs> dragon it's shed. Dragon Shed. <laughs> All Dragon Shed 2017 to fill out the forms you can vote. You'll be sent an email with all the nominees. And if you would be so kind as to vote for A God in the Shed by J.F. DuBose in the horror category, you uh, maybe also throw a vote to your friend of mine, Brian Guthrie, for his science fiction novel, Rise. Don't do it for me or for Brian. Do it for freedom. <laughs> See you at Dragon Con. Um, Thanks, uh, not to JF Dubo. Your friend and mine, stalwart member of the chat realm, W. Scottis One, writes, Hello, Diamond Club. Read in your normal voice. Don't forget that the DCTV survey is still going on over at dctv.link. That's dctv.link slash 2017. For those who haven't filled out the survey yet, do your part in helping with the DCTV rebuild and do it. It only takes a few minutes. It will really help out the team that's making Diamond Club TV version 3.0. Seriously, we have already been taking your thoughts into consideration, and it's helped us out already. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Somewhat sad voice. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Bad Weave has decided he needs to take some time off from hosting the Diamond Club TV game night streams on Tuesday nights after Night Attack. That means starting this Tuesday, until further notice, there'll be no longer any Tuesday streams from Bad Weave. I want to give my sincerest thanks to Bad Weave for starting this out about six months or eight months ago. This has truly been the biggest project I've ever worked on with anyone. Back to regular happy voice. As for my Friday night streams, they're, they are these are going anywhere. We still have Diamond Club TV game night on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Over over at twitch.tv slash wscottis1 and of course right here on diamondclub.tv make sure to follow our twitter at twitter.com slash dcgamenight and subscribe to our brand new subreddit at dcgamenight at reddit.com wscottis1 who boy yeah, there's no character limit is there no uh, if both folks <laughs> want to keep it short guys <laughs> keep it short if folks want to I'm still on stage uh, and then he gets pulled off that's how it ends <laughs> oh and uh, <laughs> yeah 83 says, hey, guys, he's your friendly neighborhood, Austin, ISD, elementary teacher, Jessica. My students uh, are in need of your generous kindness or yeah, of your kindness and generosity once again. This year, I want to incorporate a novel study with a class set of City of Ember and a set of Spanish language books for my class library. They love the tablets that you guys helped get last year and even wrote a thank you letters to Tijuana Jackson. Thank you for your support, A.K.H. Here's the link, bit.ly slash Wooten Warriors. That is W-O-O-T-E-N-W-A-R-R-I-O-R-S. Oh, this is great. You get to see where all of the money is sort of uh, uh, listed for the different books. So $180 for Spanish language collection books, uh, 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 112 for Tortilla Sun. That's cool. Yeah, that and they're looking awesome. for 540 bucks. So literally, if you give... Five dollars, ten dollars, like that's that's a huge way to their to their cause. So uh, I always I love stuff like this where uh, I, I probably shouldn't be as nervous because my wife used to work in charities and she's explained to me in all the ways that all the money does go to where you needed to go and you shouldn't worry about overhead so much. I always worry about overhead. I, I'm always somebody that would rather give a thousand dollars or just 
the things that they need to somebody than have it go through a machine that will suck out some of the sweet serum. So uh, go ahead and, uh, and, and, and donate to that because I think that that's a great way that you can immediately make a change in kids' lives, like, without a doubt. Uh, Penny uh, read A City of Ember at yeah. that time. It was a really good book. She got in the whole series. It was, uh, it was a motivator. I liked it. Right on. Yeah, I love the the transparency that uh, the internet is making possible, <clears throat> both for, you know, there's those charity watch things that make it real easy to kind of see what grade they're getting. And then, uh, you know, now that we're now more than ever, we're seeing that with uh, with r- ranking media uh, accuracy and all that stuff. Uh, more transparency is pretty good. Uh, yeah. And, and what that site does is they literally just like the teachers submit where they're buying it from. And so it just itemizes literally every cent that will need to be raised for it so you're raising it against that total and not like an estimation can i can uh, i i turned on i turned on am radio randomly yesterday or the day before and uh rush limbaugh happened to be on and, and maybe instantly i thought of uh you know your awesome el rushbo twitch channel but i realized your impression of rush limbaugh uh, is I guess it's I, I'm, I don't want to say dated I'll say classic it's the classic representation of what we remember his voice to be because his actual voice is reedy as fuck it, it sounds like like a hollow reed that's 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 uh, running Netflix I'm how, how how would how would that uh, Brian uh, since you just listen uh, we can we can just. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to do it, and I was going to rate you. you. Oh. No, you just listened to it. God damn it. Sneakly. Sneakly. Almost. Hello, my fellow. Hello. It's higher. It's higher. It's like, hello. Hello, fellow friends on Twitch. It's me, El Rush. Higher. I can't make it high enough. Oh, so good. Right yeah, I get the I get the golden shit award. God damn it. <laughs> you tried. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, oh, every my friends. Wait, am I higher? What? That's pretty good. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, no, wait, hold on, wait. Bonnie, okay, here we go. In five. <laughs> <No. four. laughs> Alright, go for it, Bonnie. Take it away. Hello, my friends. It's so nice to have you here. And I just wanted to tell you to go over to bee pollen. Make sure you get your bee pollen up your butt. Because if you don't, the Democrats will. Is that the Joker? Is that Heath Ledger's? It's going great. Uh, Anyway, his voice, very reedy. He advertises bee pollen like all the time. Have you noticed that? Yeah, no, I remember. I remember. There's nothing I remember, that screams I'm for old people like the like endorsement bee pollen of bee and pollen. Ovaltine. Yeah, when that happens, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to happen next week. Uh, new sponsor this week, <laughs> bee pollen, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Well, you know, you want to you want to have your bee pollen. Uh, you know, the, the thing about bee pollen is, I, I remember using it to masturbate while I was listening to my favorite Billy Joel novelty song. <laughs> Movie Draft Minute, (laughs) Movie Draft Minute. (laughs) Welcome to your final Movie Draft Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the summer 2017 season. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. I wonder, will we ever see each other again? Who knows? God willing, we'll all meet again in Spaceballs 2, a search for more money. Let's check the scoreboard. Team Core Killers are in sixth place with $296.4 million. Team Frog Pants are in fifth place with Dark Tower bringing $19.5 million, bringing their total to $411.2 million. Team Scotch Bros are in fourth place with $430.3 million. Team Big and Tall are in third place with $621.8 million. Team Night Attack are in second place with $645.1 million. And in first place, whopping $777.2 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your final Movie Drive Minute for the 2017 summer season. I'm your host, Roberto Vegas, leaving you with these final thoughts. Happy 30th Final Fantasy. So long, 1987.
and see you all next season. Congratulations. Go to DTNS Daily Tech News Show, pulling in 777 million boners. <laughs> Just <laughs> valued at 99.7 cents per boner with a yeah, correction uh, factor. Wonder Woman was uh, was the difference. It was the number one buy of the draft. It was He made all the best decisions and totally won. Yeah, uh, big, big, big shout Although out. Although we did, to- we did. We held on to second place thanks to uh, your friends of mine. The girls so we are, of- we are definitely going to do that, right? Like, because Girls Trip is still making whatever it is, and it's is yeah. it making more than Planet of the Apes at this point. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, well, we'll we'll let you know if it changes, but it looks like we're going to coast to comfort. Wow, I'll tell you what, Girls Trip might wind up doing in the same neighborhood as War for the Planet of the Apes. Good wow. for fucking Girls Trip. That's great. That's great. Also, uh, congratulations to Chat Realm, uh, number one winner with eight hundred sixty-four million dollars. A Hester and I was I was misinformed. Um, apparently, we did have two winners at some point, but uh, but that's it, it. Still tickles me that, uh, no, that uh, first time, first time it ever happened. <laughs> well, it, well, it didn't, didn't happen. even happen. So <laughs> it didn't happen. So <laughs> first time it never happened. We've always first had two winners. Well, we've, we've also been at war with East Asia. <laughs> hey, we also got the uh, uh, under 100 or last with 100 league, which is like the golf rules version where they try to get the worst slate and they get a penalty for any unused money. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, and so the winner of that is Aussie Fudd with $254 million on Chips, Life, Ghost in the Shell, King Arthur, oh, Snatch, Jesus. The House, Valyrian, and The Dark Tower. That's can, pretty right, great. Can I, can I submit a, a, uh, a request that we call that one Bomb Hunter? <laughs> Bomb hunter, yeah, sure. I love, I love it. Uh, do we have, uh, do we have a firm decision? Uh, there's, there's a, a motion on the floor. Uh, your honor, your honor. I'm a simple southern lawyer. Um, yeah. Teams in the winter league. Yes. Kinky and gross, or a thing we should do. Because we've never done it before. We've never ever done teams. It's always been. It's always been solo, but I, I think it really depends on. It it, it depends on whether or not. Uh, there's a lot of duos that are just that we I think we would like in in the draft. That would be weird if we took one and not the other. Agreed. So like Kanata uh, and Carboni and, so, and uh, Martin and Corey. Like so I would say if, if if they are in, then we might as well do teams and just have more people. So here's the question. Because I said involuntarily, I was like, oh, but winter is the only time I get to beat Justin. And then somebody suggested you don't have to be on the same team as oh. Justin. Oh. And uh, and I was like, I don't. Want, know. You want to you want to uh, uh, get into some uh, uh, polyamory? Is that what we're doing? Are we, are we opening up this relationship? I'm, I'm just saying, which would make Night Attack? Uh, no, that's leading the question. I I, I I like the idea of you guys playing on separate teams. You do? I do. Oh yeah. man, I'm gonna have if to hear so much end. trash. I'm gonna hear so much trash talk. Because you wouldn't hear it in the solo league anyway, though. Hmm. You know, yeah. Good. I guess. Okay. All right, number one, listen, I'm just shocked that you are suggesting it. You're always the one who's always like like shaming me for being too competitive and, and talking too much shit. And uh, it's always, hey, it's a friendly game, Brushwood over there. So it's like us being on the same team has always been the solution to that because well, now I just talk shit about other people. Right. So the, the counterbalancing thing is on the one hand, you know, I, I, everything in service of a good show and more entertaining. Um, but I. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe something to consider. I'd have or maybe to, I'd have make to it... play with Tom, and we're, we're going to have some heavy disagreements. I thought Tom made some dumb plays. Of course, he's the champion. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the other thing, too, is I'm, I'm afraid. Do you think that we have an unfair level of experience in this? And that that's the other thing, is I don't want to be Night Attack to be the host of the uh, game and then also the winners of the game every year or whatever. Uh so mixing it up seems like a it's fun. It's not an easy game to play, and it ultimately is a random, like series of events. So do, do you want to maybe maybe we extend? Let's extend everyone the invitation to to let them be teams if they want to do to do the same teams. I bet everybody would maybe. Uh, wait, roll no, over the summer. I, I want I want to open up some of the slots. Like I think yeah. I think okay. Scotch okay. Scotch Bros are are great for summer. Uh, but but uh, I think we could we could rotate them out. Uh, uh, big and tall. I think uh, if we if we put it uh, out there to folks, like uh, we could we could. I don't know. I, I just because I I like. I think the game is at its best when it is 
Oh, double oh, toasted. Double, yeah. Making new new friends. Yeah, double yeah, toasted double- would be a good one. Um, okay, so uh, we'll, we'll ruminate on it. Yeah, we'll, I think we'll we will decision, do teams, yeah. but that, we'll... that's the other thing is double toasted can only do the winner one because we do the winner one on cord killers. Oh, that's right. So, that's right. Okay, then cool. Then it's settled. Yeah. Uh, we'll do teams this year, and uh, and we'll we'll figure out all okay. that. Okay. Man, uh, any, you got anything to plug? Anything going on? Uh, I want to thank everybody yeah. for uh for for backing Action News. Action News wrapped, so uh, we spent. The weekend uh, going over, uh, we, we wrote the rest of the game, basically. So 500 action cards, 100 news stories. They are off to the uh, the proofreader now. Um, we just sent out a thing to all the backers that, uh, you know, if all goes well, which is a very uh, accurate phrase considering how that video <laughs> ended, um, we, uh, we should – get stuff back before the end of the year. I'm not going to say the C word, but if everything happened according to Hoyle, there might be a chance, no guarantees that that'll happen because we're doing this in China for the first time. So uh, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in that process. But uh, but yeah, so uh, it'll be to your hands, hopefully, at the latest early next year. Thank you guys so much for doing it. If you want to uh, still get a copy, then uh, head on over to actionnewsgame.com. That pre-order is going to run until we put the order in. And I'm telling you what, if we're, we're looking at what we're actually going to order. Uh, th- this might be the only time you get a chance to get it because uh, I don't know how m- how long they're going to last once we get the rest. Yeah. Uh, well, good, man. Uh, congratulations on that. What did we What did we learn today? We learned that Billy Joel is a filthy motherfucker. That's oh, my God, answer. is he? <laughs> Uh, we learned. Uh, we learned that uh, uh, that that uh, oh, at least one of them ponies did porn. That's a fact. It's like, <laughs> Shardle. Shardle. <laughs> no, it's Shardy, right? It always has to end with a <laughs> smile. <laughs> uh, many types of friends. There, there are many types of friends, including Spike and Heartthrob. <laughs> Uh, we learned that uh, uh, Bonnie loves me pollen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love you guys. We'll see you next Tuesday. I'm oh, Justin Robert Young. Every time you go, I get so sad that I want to drink a warm glass of Drano Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack, Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>